Well, as we've been telling you, this is Angela's last day at Kelland News. She's one of the most familiar faces here in our Kelland studio, and she's also led the investigative team here at Kelland News. And as many of you know, after the death of her daughter Emily, Angela has devoted a lot of her time and uh, to the nonprofit, aimed at erasing the stigma of addiction and stopping fentanyl poisonings. I sat down with her to talk about moving on. Steve, hundreds of feet of 35 years at Kelland, all sorts of awards, the South Dakota Hall of Fame. From those of us who work with her to you, the viewer, Angela is a big part of our lives. She's leaving to dedicate more of her time to Emily's Hope. So we have a big mission. We want to get as many people into treatment who are suffering from substance use disorder as possible. And then I'm also going to be working on our prevention education curriculum, which is K through 12. So we're actually going into the elementary schools starting this year to start teaching kids about what medications are and the dangers of illegal drugs in age appropriate ways because kids aren't getting this message soon enough. Emily's Hope will focus on awareness, education, treatment, and even provide scholarships for art students. Emily was a prolific painter. You know, I just feel called. It's almost like a vocation to try to save lives in Emily's name. I just don't want any other family to go through what my family's been through. And if I can just save one life, if just one person either gets into recovery or chooses not to do an illegal substance that most likely is laced with fentanyl, then I will have completed that mission. Angela's mom is a writer and encouraged her to be one as well. By the time she was 12, she knew what she wanted to do. And I always wanted to tell people stories, and I love the visual medium of television. Good evening. I'm Angela. What have the Cal Land viewers meant to you? Our viewers are fantastic. You know, they have watched me through three pregnancies. They supported me after the death of my oldest child and every night they tune in and they let me know what they like and what they don't like and I feel like I have a really incredible relationship with our viewers and truly that is going to be what I miss the most. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Start crying already. Uh, <laughs> I, okay, no, it's, this is so hard. Yeah. Before we go though, I, I know you want to say something to everyone. Yeah, I do have something to say. I leave you with such gratitude in my heart for allowing me to come into your homes night after night for more than three decades. Thank you for trusting me to tell your stories and to bring you the important news of the day. The only job I ever wanted was to be a TV news reporter, and it is tough to leave behind. However, I am compelled to continue the efforts I started four years ago following my oldest child's death from fentanyl poisoning. I want to prevent as many families as possible from experiencing a similar tragedy. And Emily's Hope is doing that through treatment and prevention education. And even if just one life is saved, it will all be worth it. I appreciate the support of Kello in these efforts and of everyone in this incredible community that we call Kello Land as I move forward and leave this news desk behind. Yeah.